Holy doody do. Holy do. Greetings, brothers and sisters. We are live today on Facebook with Children Are Important, and we've got Brother Mike here with us. Hi. How are you guys? So we're, we're doing great. Good. So today we're gonna do uh, some science experiments with our si scientific. How do you say it in English? Lucas, the, Lucas scientist. the scientist. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So we're going to do Lucas the Scientist. So Brother Mike actually plays Lucas the Scientist on some videos that we have for children's curriculum. So every week you have a class, you see in the Bible story, you got your memory verse, you got normal class things, but then you also have a science experiment. So he has videoed all these videos for us, and they're on YouTube and Facebook. So when you go to your class on Sunday, you can go straight from your cell phone to the video in Facebook and show the video. Or you can be Lucas in your classroom and do some uh, acting up here as Lucas. So when you act up as Lucas, the scientist, what do you have here? You put on some various supplies. Well, I've, I've tried to pick up a variety of things to wear to make it interesting. Different glasses. I have some Back to the Future glasses. <laughs> Might recognize this Super guy. Super Mario. What we noticed with these, though, is that the eyes are pretty dark. So I'm going to take those out. So, because I make funny faces. How about? Uh, is that like a minion? Minion. There we go. Thanks. That's a guy I remember. Anyway, so I've got a variety of those, and then, you know, it's good to have mustaches in different colors, and and uh, just depends on how goofy you want to be and how much time you want to spend putting your kit together. But the, the kids like something strange, and I can usually accommodate that. So, anyway. so before we jump into the science experiments today, um, how, did, how did you get started in science? I've been interested in science ever since I was a kid. We had a, a, a trailer, or a kind of like a motorhome that came to our school when I was in the first and second grade. And I would read all the science books. Science fiction for little kids is really funny, anyway. <laughs> so I, I read all the science books there. I read all the science books in the city library of Portland. So All in some the, of our videos we've been doing, I noticed that you've been combining science with the Bible. Well, the Bible is uh, actually created by the guy who created science, so it's real simple to tie everything together. Uh, all the illustrations about chemistry, for example, I was using illustrating things about chemistry in England when I was a missionary there, and I found out I had to teach more about chemistry than I could about the Bible, so I quit teaching the chemistry part. But the, uh, the, I thought they'd know about chemistry, but apparently they didn't. So they were all. Not all of us are as studied up in chemistry as others. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the case. It anyway, might be. so I did that. There's also a lot of stuff in astronomy and and uh, just every every aspect of science can relate really well to a concept in the in the Bible, and so I just use them all the time if I can. Most people don't like you say, are interested in science. So. But it really does make a Sunday school classroom or any other activity that you're doing in your church with children a lot more fun to start doing a science experiment with the Bible story. It makes it a little more fun. Right. And most of these are really, really simple. There's hardly any science in them. It's just a fun thing. A fun little experiment that the kids get to do. So. <laughs> okay. So let's yeah. see your uh, costume here. Turn well, into a Lucas, the scientist. It, I just found a little white jacket that I, I when I was in India filming this not too long ago, last October. Uh, we had a lab coat for me and one for a, a lady there called whose name is Blessy. And I said, because we're wearing jackets for scientists, that makes you look like a scientist right there. Yes. And uh, of course, scientists are always nearsighted or some kind of sighted. So, let's see. I've got a variety of glasses that I can use. Did I show you these already? Yeah, we saw a few. We saw a few of those. I'm going to use this one today. Nice. And then after that, I'm just about blind. So, I have to get going with everything else. I put on a wig because my hair, that way I don't have to comb my hair. And that makes it 
real simple for me. And uh, which mustache are we going to use? I'm going to use this one. This is a a pirate mustache, but it, actually it's a pirate beard. But it's going to be a pirate mustache. Very good. And uh, we're going to do a couple experiments, a few experiments. One of them is real simple. It involves a balloon. I cut a straw in half, but you wouldn't have to, and you could cut it in thirds if you want, or fourths. You can be real creative there. And uh, I'm going to put this string through here, if everything works right. If I can see well enough, I'm wearing funny glasses now. And uh, I'm going to make a rocket with a balloon. And it's real simple. You just blow the balloon up, tape it to a straw, but don't tie off the end of the balloon, or it won't take off. And I have some tape, and my straw, and I, and I lost my string. It's always nice to have a beautiful helper dude with you. Oh yeah. Okay. Ready, here ready? we go. Whee! Oh really God. exciting, huh? Very exciting. <laughs> but it, you can illustrate things with this all day long and the kids are be doing something else anyway. So. Where's our bucket? Underneath. Okay, there they are. We did an experiment not too long ago that got me wet and it made me wish that I had done my experiment. A little bit differently. Here we go. Here's another one. And it's, this simple experiment can be used to explain how the Holy Spirit kind of lifts us up. And even if we go down, we get lifted up again. And uh, it's actually from the prophet Micah. If I fall, I shall rise. I've been a a pastor and a missionary for almost 40 years, so I have way more illustrations than you want to listen to today. Anyway, these raisins go in here, and it's kind of fun. They sink to the bottom, and then uh, because they're there, they collect some bubbles, and they, they fall to the bottom, and then the bubbles lift them back up. And so, if you put your mind to it, you can think of an illustration like that that you can use. And it's a fun little experiment for kids. You want to bring it up to the show up close? Sure. So, also just reminding you guys, for this particular experiment, you need to have a transparent transparent just take uh, the, bottle. Yeah, transparent, transparent bottle liquid. so they can see it. And then the bubbles will go up and down makes the raisin dance. It's not uh, not real exciting for grown-ups, but it's a fun thing in the classroom. If you're used to sitting in a classroom watching somebody talk all day, this is more interesting. Yes. Now, there's another experiment. Oh, also, that pop still tastes good after after uh, doing that. Putting the raisins in it and stuff. Raisins don't hurt the flavor of the pot. Oh, this is going to work a little bit more dangerously. <laughs> you may have already seen this experiment using Diet Coke and raisins. Could you hold that bottle, please, Christy? Okay. And uh, I'm sure this has some kind of illustration you can use. Or you can just decide it's going to be fun to watch. Remember, you're, sometimes you'll be teaching uh, five-year-olds, and they're, you know, you don't have to get real deep with them. They just want to know you love them, and, and they want to know about Jesus and stuff. Okay, so before we dump in, these are, these are Mentos? Oh, these are Mentos. This is Diet Coke. Diet Coke works better than anything else and uh, any other pop that we've found. And these mentos are mint-flavored mentos, or the blue ones. 
and they're available everywhere in the world except in one little cavern in uh, Pakistan. There's one place there that doesn't have any mental. And uh, so I'm going to dump some of these in here. In India, I couldn't get it to go this high with the pop they had, and they were regular mentos, so I don't know why. Also, it might be that we're at high altitude here. Yeah, it seemed to go much better here. I only got... <laughs> <laughs> I'm still wet from the last time I did this. Okay, you here ready? we go. <laughs> well... You want to see that up close? <laughs> no. Anyway, so that works really well. It's kind of fun for the kids. It's not so much fun for whoever has to clean up afterwards. But uh, it's for the children. So yes. Go ahead and do it's it. It's worth it. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway, have fun being, you can actually dress up as the scientist Lucas in your church and do the activities, or you can watch the videos on your cell phone, show the videos, uh, or on a laptop in your classroom. So have fun with that, and also I just want to quickly mention also CBI curriculum now is ready for the teacher's book on your cell phone, so you can go in there and download. I think we have 12 languages ready now to download, so you can go in there. You speak French, Portuguese, Indonesian, Filipino. Hindi is almost ready. And, uh, okay, uh, Swahili, Swahili, Luganda, and, uh, so anyway, anyway, we so have also five, five more languages for India coming soon, so you can get those on your cell phone, that way you don't have to print your teacher's book, you can actually teach class from your cell phone. Fabulous. Well, thank Thanks you so. for being with us today, Brother Mike and scientific, Scientist Lucas. You're welcome. It's, <laughs> it's been fun, and I hope you guys have fun with your kids. They love having fun, and they bring their friends if it's fun enough. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.